How much difference would two lights make to your life? Just two lights. One. Two. If you live in New York, Hong Kong, or Sydney, the answer is probably not much. But if you live in a rural area of southern India, the answer is very different. In hundreds of villages, most people must rely on poor quality energy sources, such as wood and waste and kerosene. Here, two lights can literally save your life. The reason is this. Deadly Cobras. Just ask Mr. Veer Kanaya, who farms silkworms outside a small village 250 kilometers or 155 miles from the heart of India's Silicon Valley in Bangalore. After he installed two fluorescent lights powered by solar cells, Kanaya says attacks by deadly cobras have gone down. He says the snakes are scared off by the brighter solar light. Besides safety, these lights are also much cheaper to run and don't create the smoke and fumes that kerosene lamps do. Kanaya's silkworms too love the lights. Less smoke means they produce more silk and workers don't get sick from the fumes. This allows Kanaya to create a better future for his family of seven. With an annual income of $2,000, however, he just couldn't afford to spend $300 for solar lights. Luckily for him, hope was at hand, and it came in the form of an affordable loan. The loan was provided by the Pragati Grameen Bank. Over the last four years, the bank has been partnering with the United Nations Environment Program to make affordable loans for solar lights a reality. By offering lower interest rates to customers and guarantees to banks, the UNEP Indian Solar Loan Program has been well received, as the chair of the bank, Mr. Nasaba Ramesh, explains. Especially rural areas suffered these frequent power breakdowns, power cuts. So the solar home light served as alternate viable proposition for rural folk. And it also made business sense for the banker. So far, UNEP's $1.5 million Indian solar loan program, which is supported by the Shell and UN foundations, has financed more than 18,000 solar systems. The program has brought clean and reliable solar light to more than 100,000 people who've suffered chronic power shortages for decades. The program has also helped the loan market to mature. As it did, UNEP gradually withdrew its bank guarantees. But as Mr. K.V. Kumar of Crestar Capital, who helped UNEP set up the program, explains, the change has been huge. Five years ago, when we went into the field, we saw the buyers were mostly concerned about power cuts, power shortages. They said, we want to buy a solar light because we don't get reliable grid light. Today, I find there's a whole change in uh, attitude. They have seen how reliable solar lights are. They also realize that it is one very interesting way to save on energy costs. Power tariffs are not coming down, inflation is rising, people are concerned about cutting costs. Another reason for the success of the Indian Solar Loan Program was the qualification of suppliers. They had to meet certain standards and maintain local service centers, giving both banks and customers much needed confidence. After all, as one banker put it, if the solar system stops working, the customer stops paying the loan. Selco is one of the most successful companies associated with the program. The company has already installed more than 100,000 solar light systems across India. One of Selco's most ingenious schemes was to design a solar charging station for these lamps that are distributed fully charged each evening to street hawkers. Just like the silkworm farmers, these merchants too no longer have to put up with smelly kerosene lamps. Today, 20 Indian banks with 2,000 branches offer solar loans. And UNEP is using this success to offer similar programs in Morocco and Tunisia. An extra light or two may not seem much to many in the developed world, but for Kanaya and thousands of others, they've brought safety, profits, and above all, a better quality of life. So how much difference would two lights make to your life?